let's check out my survival garden today so this is my bean patch where i grow strong beans or string beans as some call it so as you can see it has been pretty badly affected by some aphids if you look at this particular bean you can see how badly it has been affected by the aphids you can see the ants all around so two months ago i planted these rather bushy type growing string beans and initially they produced quite a bit of fruit and i was relatively happy with the result there were some aphids at the beginning i removed them mechanically i also used some sprays but i have to say that the aphids have got the better of me here you can see that the bean is growing along my modified trellis but there are a lot of aphids so you can see those dark black aphids on those beans as well as two different types of ants the small ones and the big ones i think it is the small ones that are the bigger problem they harvest those aphids but here you can see a big fellow i think he is also feeding on the aphids all manner of ants have made this bean patch their home just have a look you really utterly destroyed my beans other pests as well leaf eating pests have cut off all the juicy and succulent portions from my bean leaves so now i'll show you something interesting i have planted the beans in four places here is one in the center of the field and here we come to the next one and here you come to the next one and here is the fourth one and i planted one set uh, just a little further apart from this let's see how that is doing now all these four sets of bean plants have been affected pretty badly by these aphids as you can clearly see they're really gone Literally, the aphids are sucking the life dry out of these plants. Now let us see the fifth batch of plants, which I have planted a little farther away from those four sets. So this is the base of the fifth set of plants. So interestingly, the leaves on this plant. are relatively healthy see some are eaten by those leaf eating bugs but if you can note the stalks not much of aphids there is some discoloration on the stalks i'm not sure what caused it but not much of aphids so that is surprising but when i have a closer look 
what do I find? I find these little things, these little ants, which are carnivorous ants. The smaller ants are really afraid of these little critters. When these ants make up their home on a certain plant, they do not allow any other ants or any other smaller pests to take up residence there. So as you can see, my trellis has gone up. And here you can see a bean, which is not seemingly affected by the aphid you can see a little fellow almost like keeping guard there having seen my entire bean patch affected by aphids i just stopped even plucking the beans and surprisingly one of these plants is spared look at these little fire ants or those little orange red ants keeping vigil onto their territory so that the smaller ants do not come and attack them. If you look at these beans, there is not a single aphid on them. But on the other plants nearby, which is not far away at all, actually it is on the same trellis. Here. Here, you can see in the center of the field that they are relatively badly affected by the aphids. Now this is another plant, mind you, from a different planting set. So, where did all these carnivorous ants come from? I think I have found the answer. In the background, just near my vines i have a mango tree let us go closer and investigate some of the leaves so this is another angle and there this vine is the one that has been relatively spared by the aphids and the smaller ants and here you can see here those reddish orange ants have pasted together a few leaves of the mango tree to make their nest. Now the nest looks empty because there are no ants in it. Probably the ants from this nest must have jumped onto my trellis and from there onto my vine and colonized that vine which is remaining healthy till now. So, this is not very clear in this shot, so let me take one or two of these critters. These are the aphids. See? You can easily crush these little fellas between your thumb and forefinger see now this is something else that I've tried organic pesticide it is written that it contains garlic chilies tobacco lemongrass and eucalyptus extracts in neem oil I tried it 
you can see the bottle is nearly over but you can see that it does not work at all now i am not a farmer by any stretch of the imagination i am just a doctor but in my opinion farming is one of the most respectable jobs that you can do my grandfather was a real farmer he used to farm rice coconuts bananas yams and a lot of other small crops sadly i couldn't learn anything from him directly but daily i am learning a lot of things from my small vegetable garden good my techniques may not be perfect they may not be even good but i want to learn if you have seen this video and you have something to share please indicate in the comments below so that i also can learn i will certainly reply to your comments thank you until next time